I'm Samaria with My Computer Career, and today I'm sitting down with Erin Ampinko, um, my CC alumni. And I'm so excited that we have I've gotten this chance to meet and I've gotten this chance to talk to you because I really do admire just sort of like everything you've been through from what you've shared with me earlier and kind of your journey um, through your career and like through being a student in, in, um, at my computer career. So I'd love um, if you could kind of give, you know, whoever's watching this video some insight on where you were um, in your career before attending my computer career? Uh, I've been a federal employee with, since 2014. Um, prior to that, uh, I got out of the military. Um, so I've been a federal employee since I got out. How long um, were you in the military? I was in for eight years as a Army Infantry Officer. What does that mean? I'm just curious. What does an Army Infantry Officer do? Uh, so Army is just designating the branch of the U.S. military. Uh, infantry is the actual job, like specialty. So infantry is the, the ground fighters. So the people who are on the ground you know, fighting on the front lines, um, that's the classification as uh, infantry. Nice. Um, and then officer is just my position. We have uh, enlisted, uh, non-commissioned officers, officers, and um, warrant officers, or specifically as a commissioned officer. Okay. Oh, no, thank you for that. Because, of course, we support our veterans, and it's always very, very nice to speak to our veteran students and kind of understand more of what that background means for someone like me who has not been in the military at all. Mm -hmm. So... You were in the military, you were in the army for eight years. And um, when did that end for you? Like, when were you officially done? Uh, I was put on a temporary uh, disability retirement list, um, I guess, pending a uh, review after some time. Okay. Um, I think after maybe a year from being uh, put on that temporary um, disability retirement list, uh, I was called to the military medical command to do an evaluation and uh, they made the decision to permanently retire me um, for a medical retirement. So they retired me as a captain. So you were um, injured? Yeah, I was injured um, and I started out uh, in my deployment in Afghanistan and then um, it slowly got worse. Uh, so I wasn't, you know, it, it got to the point where I couldn't continue um, in the military because I couldn't meet those physical demands anymore. Yeah. Wow. So when, what, I can't imagine going through that. So when you were, you know, discharged honorably and with your sort of your medical leave, like, did you know what you were going to do next in your career? Like, did you have a plan? Um, I didn't. Uh, fortunately, after um, my deployment, uh, I was able to connect with a agency that was uh, connecting employers to veterans. So uh, it was called a Hero to Hired. Yes, and, I've heard of that. Yeah. yeah. So they, they connected me to the Social Security Administration. Um, and so I've been working for Social Security since then. Right. Okay. So that's where you are currently. So what is your current job title um, working with the Social Security Department? Um, I'm a claim specialist, uh, specifically under the Title II of Social Security. Um, so I deal with uh, the people who have uh, paid into the Social Security system and have earned a benefit, um, also Medicare. So it can range from retirement, disability, spouse, survivor, uh, Medicare. Um, so there's a whole different universe um, coming <laughs> from uh, the military to the federal government and then the federal government is it's in in its own world it's a rabbit uh, from, hole for sure yeah so the 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 knowledge and skills that I get from 
my position isn't necessarily transferable to a different agency because my knowledge and the tools that I use specifically for this agency and my position isn't something you would use anywhere else. Because mm, it is specific to this federal, like... Yes, um, so they have their internal programs and as far as I know, uh, no other agency uses the same programs besides the ones that are more widely used. Like we use Outlook, we use Skype for Business. Okay. Um, we're going to be moving into Microsoft Teams. But other than that, the actual programs that we use to perform our duties um, are specific to Social Security. So uh, I can't really like transfer that to a different agency. Yeah, that's like going to college and trying to like transfer credits, credits from like whatever, some other school. It's, but you can't, right? It's, just, it's not relevant. So how did you... I'm just curious, like, how did you get from being in the army to working social security claims? And where did IT come in? Like, at what point did that happen? Uh, well, coming out of the military, I don't know. It, everything kind of just for me in, in life just happened. And I feel like I've just been going with the flow. Um, I didn't know I was coming into the military. Uh, but there was an opportunity for me. I took it. Um, I graduated with a bachelor's in business administration. Um, then I did my master's later on in organizational leadership. Uh, so I had both of those before I was discharged from the military. Um, That's amazing, Aaron. Oh my gosh. You, you earned two degrees while you were in the military? I uh, yeah because I I felt like it was something that that you kind of need to do. So, if I, if you were able to fall back on your degrees that you earned at a university, um, why did you feel the need to you know enroll at my computer career and start earning IT certifications? Uh, well, IT is just something that that interests me. Um, I was searching for you know, what else, pretty much like a lot of other veterans um, after the military were like, you know, what am I supposed to do now? Mm -hmm. um, I was searching for that. Uh, I kind of thought about the things that I kind of do just on my own time, something that I choose to do if I had a choice. Right. Uh, and, you know, I found that I like to connect things uh, like smart homes to smart lights to pretty much just making things easier. Um, I like technology, so especially renewable energy such as solar power, wind power. Uh, so prior to um, going to my computer career, I was actually under an electrical engineering program. Oh. Um, but uh, earning another degree uh, it would have taken a lot longer, and I'm not even sure what that would turn out to be. Um, I found my computer career, and they, you know, they worked with my schedule because I was still working full time. Um, uh -huh. uh, you know, pretty much the main supporter of my family, so it uh, allowed me to work full time and do school at the same time while taking advantage of the GI Bill. Right. Can I ask you a quick question about that? Mm -hmm. What What was your availability and how how did your classes, how were your classes able to fit in? Because I know that we do classes two days a week, but like, how did you, how did you fit that in? Because if you know, you've, you've got your family to provide for, you've got your full-time job, how did you actually get to class? Uh, so it, it was pretty much um, from, you know, sundown to sun up. Uh, I wake up, go to work, uh, and the sun isn't even out. Like I'll leave my house around like before six thirty and get to work and start by seven. Mm. And around four thirty, um, you know, if I'm lucky, I'll end at four thirty, and then oh yeah, that's on a good day. Class, yeah, on a good day. Um, <laughs> and then class started at six o'clock, so. It gives me 
enough time to get from work to go to the school uh, to start class and then classes ended like around I, I don't remember it was pretty like 10 30 or 11 or I know you were probably delirious just, at that point <laughs> you really couldn't um uh, it's just something that I felt was would would be worth it um and I enjoy that that saying uh, I don't ask that the path be easy just that the destination be worth it so I don't mind going through the doing the hard work as long as it worked out um, in the long term. Absolutely. I need to write that quote down somewhere for myself. Um, yeah, so you you attended um, campus classes. So you were able to actually go on campus because I know we've got the pandemic going on right now. A lot of um, our students had to switch to virtual for a bit of time. So you were actually able to be there in the classroom. How? So uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Can you tell me about like your favorite class? Like if you had a favorite class or like your favorite assignment, just like something that was fun to do for you. Um, I, I think the, that what got me kind of through uh, the school was the initial instructor. He made everything interesting. It was very engaging, um, you know, funny. Uh, and I'm like, you know, I enjoy coming to class. This guy's funny, you know. After a whole day of stress, it's nice to just, you know, not be bored out of your mind from someone just reading off a PowerPoint. So, gosh, yeah. Um, the instructor was awesome. Who's your instructor? Uh, uh, his first name was Marty. I, I, his last name is kind of hard to pronounce. I, think I know. So. Um, I wouldn't even try to pronounce it either, but I do know yeah. who you're talking about. Yes, he's awesome yeah. and he's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Okay. So you didn't necessarily like have a favorite class or like assignment, but the environment and your instructor was like kind of what you enjoyed the most. Uh, yeah, because going through school, whether it was in the civilian world or military, I found that the school is just pretty much going to be an introduction to terms, concepts, theories. And but until you actually get to the job site, you're not going to know what you're doing. So with the classes, I just took it with a grain of salt. I'm, I'm going to get through these classes, do what I need to. And then uh, kind of just it's just a stepping stone to get to the ultimate goal of where I want to be. Thank you.